Hey, what is the outlook for James Wiseman? Uh, he's going to get an MRI. Um, I'm not sure if t tonight or tomorrow, and uh, and we'll see. Uh, I don't have any other news. What's the concern level on it? Uh, I have honestly, I haven't even talked to the training staff, so um, I, I I've got nothing to to offer at this point on that front. Are you guys off tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Coach, hey, I want, what's your um, idea on this, uh, the black military man put over uh, from a traffic stop last night? He got wrongly, he got wrongfully pepper sprayed in the eyes. But what's your idea and thoughts on that situation that happened last night? Uh, Zach, I, I have not seen the news. I didn't, I don't know anything about the incident. Uh, so I, I can't, can't comment on it. Do you feel like you guys were well connected tonight? Had the right, had the right energy from the start? Uh, somewhat, somewhat, you know, I thought we had, uh, we had pretty good energy at the start. I thought the second half, we, uh, we, we messed around with the game a little bit. It was a little frustrating, but, um, you know, a, a win is a win and, and we needed one badly. So, uh, you know, not, not thrilled with the performance, but, um, you know, we had some, some, some good, uh, really good individual uh, contributions. I thought, um, you know, Juan on his birthday was, was terrific, brought so much energy and, uh, Mike Mulder stayed ready. You know, he hasn't played in a while. It's not easy to, to sit for a couple of weeks and come out and do what he did today. And, uh, obviously Steph was, uh, you know, tremendous, um, you know, uh, individually. So a lot of, a lot of good individual performances. I just didn't love the collective energy in the, in the second half. We, we need to do better. Do you have anything, uh, any further update on Ubre uh, th than what we had pregame? Yeah, I just talked to him just now, and he he said he's doing pretty well. He's it's, it's day to day, so um, you know we'll. Uh, it's it's nothing too serious, but um, you know he's not necessarily ready to play Monday. I think it's uh, it's literally day to day, so we'll see. Hey, Coach William Hammond, Sports Fans Rep. I just wanted to get your thoughts on uh, Showtime's introductions and call of the game tonight. Oh, he was awesome. Uh, the guys loved it. Um, right from the pregame introduction all the way through the game, the guys were laughing and enjoying it. And uh, it, was, uh, it was really fun to, to listen to him. I thought he was fantastic. Hey, Coach, I don't know if you – hopefully you've seen this already, but the, the voting act that happened in, in, in Atlanta and then, of course, they're talking about it in Texas. And, you know, you're big on freedom of speech. But, I mean, you elaborated more about the Austin game being moved. But, I mean, is it – how wrongfully are they taking away from freedom of speech and, and how important is it for, for people to, uh, to to voice their opinion with their vote? You're talking about the, the, the voting uh, changes in Georgia? Yes, sir. And they're, they're talking about it in Texas right now. Texas. Yeah, yeah. No, that's uh, obviously, um, you know, a huge divisive issue in the country right now. And, um, you know, I think um, the bottom line is the, uh, the, the law was, was not changed because of voter fraud. It was, it was changed because of voter turnout. Um, and that's, um, that's the issue. Um, you know, we, we need to, to make it easier for people to vote in this country, not harder. Um, there's virtually no proof of, of voter fraud, you know, in, in the uh, presidential election. And so the, uh, the premise that the uh, voter uh, law changes in Georgia is, uh, is based on false, uh, false information. Steve, going back to the idea that maybe you guys, what did you say, messed around a bit in the second half. Are you talking about defensively or are you talking about turnovers? So what did you notice? Oh, well, just overall, um, overall in engagement. Um, you know, it, it just felt like, uh, like it was just kind of um, a little loose out there. And uh, I thought we could have tightened things up and, you know, gotten a few stops in a row, but, um, you know, broken the game open, but, you know, I give Houston credit. They, they battled, they stayed in it. You know, I think they cut it to 
to nine or seven, you know, in the last couple of minutes. So uh, we just couldn't, couldn't quite break away. What did you think about Steph turning on the heat and looking like he was having a lot of fun? Yeah, Steph was incredible. I mean, uh, the shot making, not just the threes, but, uh, you know, some of the shots he hit around the basket. Um, he had uh, he had a highlight reel worth of, of plays out there tonight. See, Jordan has had some sort of off his game for a bit, but tonight he looked really assertive and uh, totally back into it. What do you think of him? Yeah, Jordan had a good night. It was good to, to see him uh, knocking down shots again. You know, he had that great stretch for over about eight games, and and um, the last four or five have not been as productive. So it's good to see him kind of break out, knock down some shots, make some good plays. And, uh, you know, I told him that the whole key for him is not to get too wrapped up in whether the shots go in or not. It's, it's more about the defensive engagement, you know, for any young player who's uh, – trying to make it in this league, uh, there has to be a level of fight and uh, and defensive engagement. And when Jordan is is in the fight and in, engaged, uh, in an engaged uh, state, um, it makes a dramatic difference and it helps his offense. So um, he's, you know, he's a young guy who's learning all these lessons. And uh, I, I really enjoy coaching Jordan. Um, he's, he's having a, a very productive uh, season and it's been a good stretch. And I just want him to keep improving because I think he's got a great future. How far, how comfortable are you, or should I say, how far are you willing to comfortably extend Looney in terms of minutes? Well, Looney has always sort of been a, you know, max, um, you know, 20 to 25 night, uh, a night guy. And uh, so that, I don't think that's changed. I'm, I'm really thrilled for Loon that, he's had a, a healthy season. He deserved it, you know, after last season and obviously his first couple in the league with the hip surgeries. So Loon's having a great year for us. Night after night, he's, he's rock solid. Uh, he stabilizes us in so many ways. And uh, you know, hopefully James won't be out uh, for too long. But if he does, you know, Loon will probably play in that same, that range of minutes and Juan will play a little, little more and Draymond will play some five and we'll, we'll figure it out.